Hello, what's going on YouTube world? Sebastian here with Spin Driving School. And in today's video, we are taking a look at pedestrian controlled intersections requested by a couple of my students actually a while back. Anyways, so a pedestrian control controlled intersection is such where, as the name says, pedestrians will have control over the traffic lights. Not immediately, sometimes it takes a couple of seconds, sometimes it happens right away. It just really depends on the intersection, on the time of the day and the, you know, um, how it's uh, set up. Some of them have sensors, some of them are just based on like a cyclical um, time sort of situation. So, you know, every three, five minutes or whatever it is, the lights might change, but. So, usually typically what's going to happen is if the pedestrian presses the button from a flashing green light so a steadily flashing green light it will go to solid green then yellow and then red sometimes it goes from flashing green to yellow and red immediately sometimes it goes red again some of these intersections are a little bit older they might be set up differently and the timing and the the sequence of lights also could vary so don't quote me on everything because as I've said previously in my videos, I don't know everything. I'm just going by what I know, what I've been taught, what I've learned, and mainly for the city of Burnaby. In different cities, again, these things can be a little bit, um, or at least the timing of it is, is going to be different. It's not a night and day difference, but the, I'm just specifically talking about the timing and how the lights and the sequence of the lights changing. So anyways. So in most cases, you are going to see a, a two-way stop sign situation at a pedestrian controlled intersection. Maybe there, there could be lights. Yes, for sure that you could have traffic lights, but clearly if you have traffic lights, then you just go by the traffic lights. The ones that are a little bit tricky and more difficult are the ones where you have stop signs, either on one or both opposing sides, just like a normal two-way. And you're going across multiple lanes like Hastings or Willingdon, where you have, you know, four to six lanes so if you're making the right turn it's just like making a right turn out a red light or any two-way stop sign it's going to be a lot easier because you're going into you know one direction of traffic if you're making the left turn or if you're going straight you have to cross both lanes of traffic so it's going to be a lot harder because you have to make sure that you're respecting uh, traffic coming from both directions which i'm going to show you all these different situations and examples in this uh coming up video so let's just get let's just get right to it and and we'll go by you know one by one so so we'll start with the first one here and i honestly i don't remember if i'm turning left or right uh, i think yeah here i'm making the left turn so full stop uh this is a one way essentially and there's a pedestrian there now she's not going to be crossing but this one has a sensor so this one actually lights change pretty frequently when you stop and you wait there for 10 15 seconds the lights will change so just, just like any other left turn, always turn to the lane that's closest to you. Uh, in this case, I'll be making a right turn, so you have to make a full stop if you're doing your road test. If you're not, you can roll these stops, but make sure that you're looking for pedestrians. Right turn, as always, shoulder checks. So when, you know, I barely stopped there, I just kind of rolled through it. I think there was only a few seconds left on the counter. Uh, this is the one at Hastings, and I'm going straight through here. There are no lights here, so this is not what a true pedestrian control intersection is. However, the idea is the same. I'm going straight, so I'm going across essentially six lanes of traffic, and I have to make sure that I look for traffic going from both directions. So I'm scanning constantly, left, right, left, right, left, right. I made a scanning video earlier this week. My head is on the swivel. The more I see, the more I observe, the better it is. And when I'm going through these intersections, I am not wasting any time. I'm flying right through there, making the left turn here. Again, I have a choice. Wait for the lights to change if there's a sensor. If not, I might be stuck here for, you know, five minutes. I've been in those situations, especially when you're making the left turn or if you're going straight. Nice and clear. And we are out of there. Sometimes when I stop and I see a lot of traffic, you know, I'll wait for the traffic to dissipate a little bit before I inch, inch forward. So you will see that in this video as well. In, in certain situations, you do want to make sure you make full stops because there might be people crossing in front of you, right? So 
that's why those stop signs are there. So don't just blow through these stop signs because um, you will fail your road test. You might get a ticket or you can kill someone. In this case, I just waited for the light and I'm going straight through. So if you wait for the lights to change, it's definitely going to be a lot easier because then essentially the other cars have a red light and it's like you having a green light, but you're still having to stop at the stop sign. I um, think I'm making, I'm making a right turn here. So stop, creep up. Again, you have a choice. Wait for the lights to change or go when it's safe. Treat it like any other two way. And in this case, I am turning to the lane that's closest to me. Now I could also be turning to the other lane, no problem. But since that lane was clear, that's what I did. And also my visibility was pretty low, so I don't want to cut anyone off. Uh, I think I'm doing a left turn here, which again, left and straights in these situations are going to be your, your hardest ones. So if you can make a right turn or just, you know, find a different way. But uh, these definitely take a little bit of practice going through these uh, pedestrian control intersection. So I'm just going to wait for the lights. It is pretty busy. All right, so I'm just basically waiting at the stop line. Never mind, I'm not waiting for the lights in this case. Or to be honest with you, again, I don't remember. So please don't, don't hate me. Yeah, just going straight through. So, you know, I creep up, I look both ways. Once it's clear, I go from point A to point B as quickly, but as safely as possible. Quick stop there. I just caught, I think there was maybe three or four seconds left on the counter. So I just made a quick stop and I took that opportunity uh, to use those couple of seconds to get safely from point A to point B. Again, the more practice and the more experience you have, the more of risks, I guess, you, you're going to be able to take. Always make sure no one's crossing in these situations because uh, people are going to be crossing both on the left and on the right hand side. So this is how you make a left turn at a pedestrian control intersection. So as we spoke earlier, those lights are flashing green and until they stop flashing or go to solid, that's where I need to start worrying about them changing. It's just like any other left turn, shoulder check, go to the center and then you're making your left turn. I have videos on left turns. Uh, I'll be making another left turn here, I do believe. Uh, never mind, right turn. That should have been a dead giveaway from the shoulder check. And see, I turn into the middle lane because there are cars parked there. So I think I'm making the left turn here. And here you'll see, I'm not sure if it's in this or next video. Yeah, see that white car coming up? So not, that car is not going to stop. They're just going to blow right through. So you don't want to do that. At least pump your brakes. See that fell across in there. That could have been a bad call. So And I had pedestrians crossing on my side. So wait for the pedestrians to cross. And then you are turning to the lane that is closest to your center. Again, full stop or at least roll it a little bit. As far as rolling stops, you definitely are going to get away with it if you do two ways as opposed to four ways. And I'm turning into the middle lane. And this is actually a bus lane after um, Hastings has been repainted a little bit. If there's a car in front of you, wait until that car leaves. And just because the car in front of you goes from point A to point B, it doesn't mean that it, it is safe for you to do so as well. So make sure that you are always scanning intersections for yourself and making decisions for yourself by yourself and on your own accord don't let someone else make decisions for you whether it's a car, a car in front of you or behind you or your passengers or whoever you have in the car with you make your own choices so i'll wait for him to go he went straight i'll be making the left turn here so scanning again i can wait for the lights to turn no problem. I might be there for a while. In this case, I think in this case, there was actually a fellow that was um, you know, cutting around the corner and he just kind of elbowed the, the pedestrian sign because he saw me waiting there and he probably realized that I could be there for a while or maybe I have been there for a while. So sometimes pedestrians will press those buttons and access those lights for you. So that's definitely nice, especially when it's busy. And I did this video on a Sunday, so it wasn't even as busy as it can be on weekdays. Left turn, turning into the lane that is closest to you. Also, if you're a passenger and you're going to jump out and change those lights, be careful because you can actually get a ticket for that. So you're not supposed to do that. 
going straight through again scanning head on the swivel make sure that you're looking across both lanes of traffic tree did like any other two-way stop sign i think i'm making a left here yep so as always shoulder checks and this is on willingdon so we have two lanes of traffic so a little bit smaller than hastings but still challenging nonetheless scanning both ways waiting for that safe gap once i think or know it's safe i am making my turns or going from point a to point b so that's it that's all i hope that helps and now you'll be a little bit more knowledgeable going through these uh, pedestrian controlled intersections as i said earlier they can be tricky stay safe keep practicing and we'll see you on the next video take care